Hello. Hey, welcome back. Uh, what are you doing? What? Listen. Never mind. You know what? Today we're playing this game. That's a thing. What do you think? I love Promster, Mom. Someone needs to get glasses. Anyway, let's move on to this game. Let's uh let's let's get going. Short game or full game? I don't want to play a game where I'm gonna get three hundred percent of the snakes. And only thirty three percent. Oh believe me, you'll get more than three hundred percent of the snakes. Yeah, in that's this disgusting. Game. Keep your snakes to yourself. Hmm. What the hell? Pick a snake. Uh Come on. I don't want any of the snakes. You can do this, EJ. They're gross. Come on, I believe in no, you. No, stop touching me. Ow. Ow. Let's do the 45 minute one. Okay, let's go for a short game. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just ah! Ow! Ow! How? How? How did you get that so accurate? Oh god. Sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. I'm gonna be this guy. Yes. Oh, it's my who are, turn. Who are you? Here. You can... Okay. You, you can use the mouse if you want. Or you could just, like, tell me and I'll pick for you. No. Stop! No. I'll murder you. Ah! What? You don't have a pro down for EJ. Here, have the mouse. It's it's not as awkward on on camera as you leaning forward. Can't make me. All right, let's do this. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Liam DeLioncourt. 400 and something, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he, that he was truly a lovable dork. Polly Geist, 22? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Gross. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Of course the insatiable one would be with the girl with the snakes. Yup. Wait, why it, does it have to be one of them? It has to be. I don't understand. Because, I mean, think about it. When there's you're a like teenager, the only there's kids... only like six kids in the school. But that... Really? What kind of school did you grow up in? A uh, six-kid school. That's really sad. I lived in a small town. I mean, the only reason there were six kids at the end of my school year was just because I had all the other kids' as kidneys. But, I mean, I had my fill of way more than six kids. We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Let's do this. I don't like the rhyming. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're now asking our PhD. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. 
Which kind of deviant sicko are you, EJ? Could it be a kidney deviant sicko? Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. A radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? Did I get the incredible power of writing fan fiction? <laughs> a superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis? Or just rabies? What did you get? <sighs> Probably rabies. Hmm. I mean, that's what I was gonna say, but... What are you gonna go with? You could go with the same thing. Yeah. I can't... I can't have anything other than rabies. This is... Oh, good. Be a visionary. What will the next big social media craze be? I'm gonna go with... See, Arbert, from now on a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded through the app by its users. Greek agoras, like literal Greek agoras, reinstated in our cities. Places where philosophy and arts are discussed by the greater minds. That's social media I want to log into. Bullshit! It's Facebook, but each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed, and the money goes to the people exposed to that bullshit. That one's mine. <laughs> um... I, I love the idea of Robert. I'll take the bullshit. What criteria could you use t to name your children? None, I don't know. Phew. Man, no name. <laughs> Swear word. Bobby, my name is pun proof and joke proof. I'm pick on them. My name plus two. Oh, gross. Not Ben the second. I don't want me again. I don't know if ghosts can even have children. Huh. Uh, it's too much work. Mm. What do you want to do? Mm. Alright. My kid's name is going to be Fuckface. Alright. That's what my dad called me. Technically, it'll be like fuckface plus two. <laughs> you know? Oh, jeez. Okay, where am I going? Oh, jeez. So, I'm gonna go... Cause... I'm gonna go outdoors. That door during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party! You gain plus two fun. I am more fun than you. Oh no. Hey, Yellow, darling! It's me, lovely fan favorite Polly. Wait a minute, how about you do a voice? I've been doing everything thus far. But she's hot. Go for it. But she's hot. Fine, I'll do a voice. You get to do the next one, though. Okay. What the hell is that? Ghost. You know, I wasn't always a ghost. Yeah, yeah, this is about to get real. Hear me out. I used to be alive, but I died with unfinished business. You know, same. Same. Now I gotta live forever like this until I finish it. I know exactly how this chick feels. And you might ask, what's your unfinished business, fan favorite lovely Polly? I guess I can tell you. I never did a reverse Romanian Wilkinson. You know, sexually. Oh. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I love being immortal and walking through walls and shit. I mean, I wish I could walk through walls. I just, I could get stuck in technology. But my soul will never truly rest until I f do that freaky sex move. Oh well. Uh... Hmm. Uh. Uh. Throw a smoke bomb and escape while leaving a replica of yourself. 
<laughs> I'm gonna do that. You throw the smoke bomb you save for these situations. You swiftly hide, leaving behind an exact replica of yourself made out of macaroni and Play-Doh. <laughs> Whoa, Yellow, I don't know if it's just me or all this smoke I'm inhaling, but you suddenly seem more attractive. <laughs> you know what? Fuck the reverse Romanian Wilkinson. Let's go to Funky Town together oh, right now. No, she fucked and just like mannequin. that... Polly grabs your replica and flees to have what seems like great sex. As she leaves, you're sure you see a sneaky little macaroni smile <laughs> on the replica. Oh. Uh, no, not again. Bested by a replica made of macaroni. You should stop using it. It always ends up having all the fun. That is, your macaroni replica gains lots of stats and fun and unforgettable experiences, but you lose two fun and one smarts. Oh. <laughs> 